Okay, so dear Dhamma practitioners, we're going to start our ongoing meditation session now. And be comfortable yourself and relax your body. And keep your back straight, neck head straight in one line, and your right palm on your left. So gently close your eyes and bring your attention to this bell sound. And while you're focusing to the sound, you can mentally relax your body, relax your mind, relax your breathing with your thoughts. Do nothing extra. Just follow the sound, please. Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Homage to the Blessed one, the exalted one, the fully enlightened one. So, dear Dhamma practitioners, in this ongoing meditation sessions, in the beginning, I want to give some information regarding the practice. So, mainly you have to remember. This practice based with your own mind and with your own effort. So this is not something you follow. This is not something you just believe. This is the time you come to practice yourself. And when it comes to our life, the very, very human life itself has ability to to decide take decisions so when it come to living beings only the human life has ability to take conscious decisions all other living beings follow certain kind of patterns in their plane they are already set up for a certain environment which they cannot escape but for you it's not like that Today you can be a nice person and tomorrow you can be totally different person. Today you can say yes to something, tomorrow you can say no to something the, for the same thing. All the time you have ability to change. All the time you have ability to select all the time you have ability to to change your choice this is one of the beauty when it comes to human life another thing is the freedom when you able to understand the power of the human mind one of the, the major important quality that you have within yourself, you have ability to, to become free. The other, other living being doesn't have that ability. Even just imagine to, to becoming a god. That 
goat cannot get out of the goat chip. That the animals, they cannot get out of the, their behavior. But the human beings not like that. That's why the human plane is kind of like a junction. And you with then that tomorrow you can be any kind of living being. This is a kind of like a place, center place, central place can take you to any direction. But the thing is, when it comes to freedom, even in the very conventional freedom, when it comes to the freedom deeply, the freedom means you have to be free from your own nature. You have to be free from your own mind. But look ourselves. Look at yourself. Look into yourself. When you have a free time, when you are free, what you do? Are you using it to grow yourself? Are you using that freedom to deposit, deposit something to your death? Because mostly when it comes to that in the ordinary life, you know, for to do things, we, we do deposit. Like as example, to buy a house, you have to put a down payment. No, but to buy a car, you have to put a down payment. You have to deposit something first. So that deposit is yours and at the same time, it allows you to, to function through it. The mostly with our bodily, verbally, mentally action, what we deposit in us. When you have the freedom to yourself, are you used that freedom to deposit the growth or the development or the cultivation or are you deposit your death? Look at people. And every day sometimes, day by day, day by day, out of their own activities, they become more unhappy, sad, worried, disappointed. out of their own mind. And then out of their own behavior, they become so frustrated inside them. So what does that mean? That means they deposit their death inside. You invest for your death. Death somehow going to happen. But here what I'm telling, let it happen. Because when the death is going to happen, don't worry if it doesn't matter you think about it or not, it's going to be 100% perfect on time. It will happen. It's never going to go wrong when the death comes to you. So just let it happen. But why you keep dying? Why you why you developing that inside you? Why you inviting to it? Using your own mind when you have freedom. Just as example, when a person have the freedom, they may drink, they smoke, or maybe they eat too much. They, they do they go and do the extreme kind of sports. They do kind of like wild things when people get freedom. But that not allow them to grow inside. So through this entire sansara, the, the nature that we develop, 
that ourselves, we caught up in a current, keep doing things. For the moment, we have satisfaction. But in the long term, we gain negative result. For the moment, so for this sansara, this is what keep doing. And another way, this is what called habit. And another way, this is what called pattern. This is what happening with us in this ordinary life. What is the very nature of the ordinary life? For the moment, we look for satisfaction and we have behavior to go with the pleasure, with the very short moment of pleasure, in long term, we gain negative result. We know that. But still we know it and we keep doing and we cannot get out of that nature. We have, we deeply, we have inability to give up. What? Our own ideas, concept, thoughts, believing, so like that. We have inability to give up. So when it comes to meditation, rather than go with the short term, pleasant, pleasure, we develop a moment of awareness. In that awareness, don't look for the pleasure. So this is very important. When you sit for meditation, don't sit for escape. Don't, don't sit for looking for a victory. Don't sit looking for validation. Don't sit with the idea to chase, thrill, hunger. Don't sit with the idea of hunting. Don't sit with the idea of gaining. Don't sit idea of conquering. Don't sit the idea of controlling. Don't sit the idea of needing. If you are able to sit like that, you will see the you are seeking itself and become without needing you can seek. Otherwise we always look into yourself. You seek something with the need, with the need. You, you always look for need, need, need. But can you look, can you see something without needing anything? Anything means anything. So meditation, that is where you grow your, your true nature. Your pure nature, you grow with the, that kind of seek. If you have need, this is what happening. Understand this very carefully yourself. Because this is where that we go wrong ourselves. Maybe we look for freedom. We're trying to escape from something. And whatever the, the the intention that you have deeply underneath to escape from something, start to grow little by little, little by little. And once you start to escape from it, and when you have the desire 
maybe with that desire when you sit it not allow you to to grow with your own pure nature so may, so that's why when it come to meditation just look into your own inhalation exhalation just look into your own sensation without any kind of judgment self judgment and without kind of like the self authority because why because the self that we already developed through this ideas came through accumulated through the journey there is somebody deeper in you maybe you still didn't see you yourself already interpreter as your identity that maybe you 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 got it from somewhere even you don't know how you got it but still there is something keep happening all the time in you that it's it's very pure it's very clear without any bias it keep happening in you that is your awareness recognition so then through the meditation you cultivate that that's why you have to develop the art to see without needs so you if you can do it with the, your own inhalation exhalation and that will help you to to understand something there's something will come to you once you purify yourself once you get out of this needy mind because this needs that we go through we look and it's just just a pattern of this human behavior it is not personal whatever the needs that you have within yourself it is not personal that needs came out of according to necessary cause and effect so once you deal with the needs what happening your pure awareness the connection deeply that you develop slowly disconnect but once you get out of all the needs in that very moment your mind start to absorb something that solid awareness in you help you to to see very clearly and recognize that recognition is very important to go to the vipassana level otherwise because if you see something with the needs then it not allow that the needs not allow you to drop that what you seeking it develop the the concept on the on the on what you seeking so then you you cannot go beyond that and get into the the pure nature of this experience so that try the meditation mean you allowing yourself to grow in in conventional life in ordinary life it is not happening with us why because the ideas that already we have needs that already we have make you a very limited person if the look at this universe in this entire universe how big how powerful but 
your mind became a very lilliput, like a lilliput in this huge universe because of your needs. When you get out of your needs, what will happen? Your mind become bigger and better than this universe. So this is your choice. This is your moment. Allow you to grow. Because if you miss this chance, who knows when you can find it again. So then why you not allow you to grow? The growth should happen. Not with the bias, not with the idea of hunt, not with the idea of thrill, not with the idea of chasing, not with the idea of victory, not with the idea of validation, not with the idea of controlling, not with the idea of gaining. And just try to, to settle down with, with the, just, just by pure recognition. And just give a try. So let's get into practice a little bit. Your right palm on your left and neck head straight in one line. Gently, you can close your eyes and keep your back straight, neck head straight in one line. Bring your attention to your body, please, and observe head to toes and recite yourself, Sopateva, or may I be well and happy, three times. Take a moment and think. We gathered here in this moment to practice this ancient meditation technique. All the Buddhas, all the enlightened masters followed this path and achieved wisdom. So we also gathered here to accumulate that knowledge in this moment with this sitting. May my body become more comfortable. May my breath be more smooth. May no difficulties come to me. May all the success come to me. Also think for a moment. This is the last moment we're spending in this very lifetime. And detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts. Just try to remain in the present moment, observing the sensation of your inhalation and exhalation. So bring your attention to in front of your nose and your upper lip area. Deeply and gently, breathe in, breathe out. Three times, please. And allow your inhalations, exhalations happen itself. So don't disturb it, don't it don't interfere with it. Don't have any mental chattering yourself. Just Simply observe and recognize it as it is.
Bring your attention to your body, please. Observe your posture. We cultivate loving kindness and compassion in our heart and radiate it as a light. Through entire your compound, village, city, state, country, world, around this universe. Also, as far as you can, through galaxies, other planets, stars, reminding yourself like this, with clear intention, mentally repeat after me. May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. May everyone be happy and safe. And may their hearts be filled with joy. May all living beings live in security and in peace. Being so are pray low strong, tall or short, big or small, visible or not visible, near or far away. Already born or yet to be born. May all of them dwell in perfect tranquility. Let no one do harm to anyone. Let no one put the life of anyone in danger. Let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm. Expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart. Forward, visualize yourself and send it as a light. To your backside. To your left side. And to your right side. Downward, and upward. To all six directions at once, like the moon, the sun, spread the light, spread the energy, without any condition, without any limitation, without any resistance or without any judgment. Let your heart shine with the loving kindness and compassion 
from the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest. Wishing yourself, may all living beings in this universe be well and happy with the recognition of impermanent, unsatisfactory nature and selflessness. Say sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. So we offer this practice to the great qualities of the Buddha, Dhamma and the Sangha and at the same time by the power of this meritorious deed we accumulated here may all of us get out of sickness or the disease or aging and the death and finally, may all of us attain supreme bliss of liberation or the Nibbana. Also, we transfer this all merits to your guardian angels and the deities. May they be able to gain these merits and increase their longevity and protect all of you from any kind of planetary influences or any ill effects. And at the same time, we transfer this merit to your past relatives. If they're living in a lower existence, may they be able to attain to high existence. If they're living in a high existence, may they be able to attain to supreme bliss of Nibbana. <laughs> Sabbe Bhuta Nuno Dantu Sabba Sampati Siddhya Sabbe Satta Nuno Dantu Sabba Sampati Siddhya Idam me nyati nango to Sukita Huntu nyato yo Imaya Dhamma Nu Dhamma Patipatia Buddhanku Jemi Dhammanku Jemi Sanganku Jemi Attaya imaya patipatia jati jara viadi maranam ha paribundi sami idami punya kamang asavakaya vahang ho tu sabadukka pamun chatu. Bless.